All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. So I have a thrift haul um, to resell on Poshmark and eBay for um, you guys that are watching. So um, let's just start off with a very exciting find. I have never found this frame before, and I saw these like flat or a new a new cart rolled out, and there was like a lot of people buy it and stuff. I don't think any of them were resellers, and I kind of saw like this quilted like interior, and I was like. Oh, I think I recognize that. And these are birdies. I was so excited. I've never found birdies before. So these are like the new Rothies. I still have not found Rothies. I have not found Rothies. I found Vivaya and Rothie or in birdies now, which are considered like the new Rothies, which like the the new exciting thing. And so the birdies aren't like that cool to find anymore because a lot of people have found them. But I finally have found birdies. So I'm Super excited. These are a size 10 and a half in really nice condition. They just have to show some signs of wear. They are a leather upper and fabric lining and sock. They don't feel like the highest quality shoe, but people do like them. They were six dollars and four cents. And I was I was thrilled. So I am very, very excited to cross the birdies off my list. Alright, also from that store. So it's just very bizarre because I wasn't finding a ton, but I was finding a lot of like older designer brands. Um, so I found a Burberry size small made in Italy, like jacket thing. And if you can see, yes, there are issues with this. So it does have this beautiful, like, this is like a canvas material. It's like a, a jacket and it has a contrasting, like paneled canvas detail on the back, which I really liked. But, um, at the front, it, I did notice, I did see this in store, but it did have some like grease spots and a tiny hole down there so i'm just it says dry clean only but i'm gonna wash it anyway just because i don't think this has that much to lose left and i'm gonna put like dawn dish soap to get the grease spots and i'm just gonna like the hole's not huge my rule of thumb is if i can stick my finger through it it's too big of a hole but um this is authentic all the um zippers are branded and the buttons and this is made in italy there like it's just yeah the care tag doesn't look um like the care tag i was kind of confused but the care tag is tacked on which um as a like a good indication i guess but um usually they'll say like burberry at the care tag but this one does not but it is authentic anyways uh if i can try to point out some of the spots like so you can see them there more so we'll see how that cleans up if not i probably can get 25 dollars for that um i did ask at the register if they would take money off it was 4.99 and she said she would get do it for half off since of the stains now which i was uh, like okay all right uh, another, like, designer, higher, higher-end brand, St. John, size 10. This is, uh, this still has, like, the, you know, like, tag where, like, the store tag would go. This was probably, like, a $500 jacket. Um, it's a blazer with, uh, silk-covered buttons. Um, so it's really nice, really high quality. It's the Santana knit. So the th thing that I do well with St. John in is their, uh, I mean... They're uh, like their um matching sets or the dresses do the best for me. But this is a blazer. Um, this is like one of the newer tags. It doesn't. It's not like the oldest tag. It does have the shoulder pads in it, which I'm not sure if like shoulder pads are like still like on like a trendy style. But Saint John, I feel like there's a lot of older pieces that still sell. So uh, I don't always pick it up. I do find it pretty often in my area. But um, yeah, it does have a silk lining as well so um i'll use keywords like it has like kind of a peplum so use a saint john career peplum uh santana knit navy blue um wool because wool santana knit is like uh 80 percent wool and 20 percent rayon so uh wool uh peplum blazer jacket yeah usually when i find saint john i find it with like other saint john but that's the only one i found so all right, this one I almost skipped by because I was like, I saw this and this zipper, it, it is a Patagonia, so I saw the zipper, but I'm like, oh, like, I always see these nylon jackets, and I'm like, oh, I hope it's a Patagonia jacket or something, and I, I almost skipped it by, but then I, like, I saw, like, the zipper pull, so I was pretty excited, and then I looked, and it was a Patagonia, says extra large. I need to figure out if this is a men's or women's, so, but it has a style number. This is from 2002, so it is a vintage, because vintage means 20 years or older. So it says spring or summer of two. Um, it does have a style of, up there as well. So uh, pretty happy to find this nylon color blocked um, windbreaker jacket. Uh, I'll probably get $30 for that. 
and I'll probably list the birdies at 65, uh, maybe, I'm, I'm not really sure, I've never sold them, uh, the St. John 45, and the Burberry, I'm to be determined. Okay. Um, what else for that store? Oh, another thing, like, vintage, I almost didn't get this one, I really almost didn't, I, uh, yeah, okay. Max Mara made in Italy size medium, and it's like a crossover, like, top, it feels like a merino wool, like, um, yeah, it feels like a merino wool, so, but unfortunately, I, like, it really does, I know what merino wool, but I can't confirm that, because, unless, unless I see another listing for this exact style, which I doubt I'll be able to, but, like, it just kind of has, like, I mean, that, like, same pilling that merino wool gets, but I, that, can come off but i'm i don't know i just didn't really like the style of it i think it was i think it's a little bit of a dated style but um i went ahead and got it because i don't find max more of that often like maybe once or twice a, year, a few times a year but uh the only thing i've found for max more that's actually sold well for me was like a wool coat and that's full in a few days for 150 dollars and it was flawed so i actually got it at the same store as that and the birdies so um Okay, I think we're moving on to a new store. No, we're not. I actually no. I have two things. Okay, um, this is a flax size small linen button up or button front. Um, just top. It doesn't need to be washed because it had like some, like I must. I almost left this one too. I just didn't. It has like white mark there, but I, that will wash out. So, um, and this one says life is a choice. That's like the fun saying. Every time I find flax, they read out the saying. For you guys, but this one's like not that fun because sometimes it's like they're like kind of fun, but that one wasn't like fun. It wasn't funny, it was just like serious, which I don't really want to be serious sometimes. Okay, um, is that everything? Oh, yeah, okay. And this is the first thing I found. I was pretty excited about these. So these are high, high waisted uh boot cuts with and like this is like the most perfect on trend denim wash right now. Um, this color and these are AYR, which stands for all year round. This is a bolo brand to keep your eyes on the lookout for. This tag is on the side, but though I found this, this is my second time finding it, and I found them for the first time in Chicago, so this is the first time in my area. They have like the tag here sometimes as well, but I think this is one of the newer tags. These are called the uh hangout. So, and the old, the other pair I found they were printed on the pocket, similar to like mother jeans or something, but they do have a style on uh, somewhere. They have this down number, like, yeah, up here, so. And these are a 28S, which I assume means short, so I'll just make, try to look that up, but it doesn't matter to me. That's a logo, and yeah. So look up comps on these. These are called the uh, Hangout uh, Boot Cut Jean, and I only saw one sold. I didn't see any available. I saw one sold for $115, so that's great. I was very excited. So for that store, that's all I got at that store, and, like, that's not bad for one store. I was like, okay. Um, the funny thing is, I found, uh, my hair's, like, really sticking up today, so I apologize, but I found an AR, AYR dress, um, at a consignment store, like, before, like, the same day I went to that Goodwill, and they wanted, it was pre-owned, they wanted $125 for the dress, and comp, Poshmark comps were good, but they weren't, they were, like, 80 to to $100, and I was, like, like, this consignment store is, like, absolutely bonkers with their price, like, they, like, they do not understand the fact of retail does not equal resale. Like, I've seen St. John. Like, they probably would have marked this St. John Blazer at $125 pre-owned. Like, it's it's insane. Um, Like, it's, like, actually crazy. Like, I was... Yeah, every time I go in there, I'm always like... Who... Nobody... The thing is, nobody's buying this stuff. Because, so... Yeah, I'll, I actually have a few pieces that I got from there. And I'll explain it. So she definitely does like stuff in the back, which is like, I would hope so as a consignment store owner. I would hope that you're looking up the pieces in the back. But I'm not sure if she's checking like comps online or if she's just like looking at the retail price and then pricing based on the retail price or whatever. There was a pair of new attack Vince lamb leather pants that retail for $1,000. Vince, very expensive lamb leather. I get it. I get it. They, they probably went on sale though. They were... So they retail for a thousand dollars, and they were marked at in the middle of cornfield in cornfield, Illinois. They were marked at five hundred dollars. No one here is going to walk into a consignment store and pay five hundred dollars for lamb leather pants. They're, they're just not. Um, maybe on, but like I don't think any. I don't, 
I honestly did not even look them up, obviously, but I kind of want to just, sometimes I'll look stuff up to see, like, how it's comparing. I looked at the AOR, AYR dress, and that's how I already knew, like, it was overpriced. Okay, but when this stuff does not sell at a consignment store, the people either have to pick them up, and if they don't pick them up, then she gets to claim them as her own and then sell them on her, like, um, like, sale rack, I guess. And the sale rack is just a flat fee, and, um... Sometimes I'll get lucky with it, and sometimes I don't, but I haven't, hadn't gone in, like, two months, and it's actually not that far from my house. So, anyways, uh, so, but some, sometimes, even though she's getting the items for free, basically, some of the prices on the stomach are still really high. I, I'm, like, she had, like, Lily Pulitzer shorts for, like, $10, and a lot of them, and then she had, um, like, so Lily Pulitzer dresses, Lily Pulitzer dresses for twenty. So I would have paid like five and uh, like dress the population dresses for ten. But I didn't like the style. But there was a whole bunch of things that I would have paid. I would have paid five dollars for for on the sale rack, and she would have still made five dollars. But uh, I didn't because they were still too expensive, at least for me. All right, these are a pair of Lululemon like biker shorts. There is the logo, and these were five dollars. So I grabbed those. Um, these are a size six. Well, I mainly grabbed them because I didn't think $5 was too bad, but there's one, two pairs, three pairs, and then one pair that's the same style but in a different, um, like, color. So, if you don't believe me, one, two, three. So, they're all the same size, all size six, and all in excellent condition. Sorry. So, multi-quantity listing so I paid $15, and I can probably get 20 to 25 for each of those, which is, like, fantastic. Um, because it takes one list. It's literally one listing and three items. Like, And then these are obviously the same style, so this shouldn't be hard as either. Okay. Then this is, like, uh, another Lululemon. And this is a skort, or, which is, this is very tiny. It's a size 4. The size dot is kind of, like, rubbing off a bit. But it is a size 4, but, like, this is really tiny. Like, very tiny. Um, if I didn't say that, like, enough. So, anyways, I still got it because this was also $5. But the Lululemon on the sale rack is, like, usually always $5. I found new attack, a new attack scarf one time for $10. Um, but otherwise, it's always been 5 which I can pay that. Unless it's, like, the tank top. I've left some of the tank tops behind. Okay. Um, this brand always, always, always sells fast for me. Like, it's... Yeah, I f this is my, I found it three times at Goodwill, and every time, well, I kept one of the pieces, but this is my size, but I'm not going to keep it, just because I don't think I'd wear it, but Topo Designs, size small, be on the lookout for this brand. This is like a chambray, like, men's shirt. Um, it was $5. I could probably list it for 40 and get, like, 35 Like, it's, sell it's always sold, like, so fast. Okay. I was so unsure about this. Like, this is one of the things I was like, mm hmm. Yeah, it's very, it was a risk. Okay. It's called Ryan Baca. Baca? I don't know. Uh, are ready to wear. And it's a size 46, which I looked at the size chart and it's an extra extra large for the brand. Um, this is a green linen, like, dress. So, I looked at this tag because it was tacked on and, like, in European sizing. Um, but mainly because it was tacked on, and it's, like, an interesting-looking tag. So, tacked on means it's basically sewn on one side here and one side there, which is a higher center quality. And, um, I could just tell it was a lemon blend. So, I looked at the brand, and there was a few of these dresses listed, but, like, all over for $100, and none of them were sold. And I was like, okay, it's $10, which is paying up for me. And I was like, I have, and I bet she had this priced at, like, $100, like, to begin with. Mm, definitely definitely over 50 if she's pricing something at like uh if she, if she's marking it down to her sale for 10 it's definitely priced over 50 for sure oh my gosh oh my gosh what the ugh. okay well that's like creepy look at, look at this bug okay that thing is huge okay i'm fine but like that was a bit dramatic of me so like okay one whoa Okay, I'm gonna go, like, kill this real quick. So, like, anyways, so she probably had this thing priced, like, for, like, over $50. So, like, mm, yeah, and obviously it didn't sell because it's on the sale rack, and the person never came to pick it up. So, I guess they didn't care about it that much or just, yeah. I think they have, like, a week to pick up this stuff. Where they, oh, I lost the bug. 
don't know. Um, okay, should I just continue? I have, a, like, a... Okay, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna continue. Continue. Okay, sorry for the interruption. We'll, we'll try it out. I did an Instagram poll, and most people said to grab it, so... I'm gonna list mine at 80 to, just to try to see if it moves faster, but, uh, yeah. I've never found this brand at Goodwill before, um, and I've heard it does not do that well, but it's a printed, like, mm, like knee-length, stretchy jersey knit skirt. Um, it's Mara Hoffman, size large, and this is new with hat, or not new with hat, this was $3, so I thought, I didn't think that was that bad. Um, so, it's an interesting pattern, kind of colorful. So, I was surprised this was only $3. Um, so, apparently all Mar Mar Hoffman prints are trademarked, which I think is interesting. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, so, I don't think I would have paid $5 for this. I definitely wouldn't have paid $10. But I know, I think this was priced at, like, $30. It was on their designer rack, like, months ago, so, um, I think, yeah. But they had a Mara Hoffman dress, like, at the same time as that skirt that was over a hundred dollars and i don't i doubt that sold for a hundred dollars but okay um and then i think that's it from the consignment store so yeah pretty pretty good i was happy with the uh stop for sure so i got three things at goodwill so i the first thing i found was this pair of page um i saw this and i knew exactly what they were i'm like oh my gosh because i've sold these before and they did so well i'm like are those the Maisley joggers and these are a denim jogger, so I was so excited because I've sold this style before. And I listed them. They sold for like $63 in one day. Those were like a maroon color, and they were a size 20 or 32. Um, but the comps on this Maisley style are, do really, are really good. So you can, page jeans are easy to look up because they have the style. And then if you flip it up, it says the well, color. It used to say the color. I forget the newer styles, it just says the color color number but you can just look it up by searching page Maisley joggers and the comps are really good so i was really excited i'll probably list those at 65 all right and then this was the second thing i got so i don't always pick up this brand but i just liked this piece diane von Furstenberg, size four to be honest it's not a brand that i find that often either but this is a like a um has like a interesting sleeve to it looks like kind of like that and this is a jumpsuit so it has pockets and then it's like a wide leg jumpsuit so maybe more like a straight wide leg not like tapered but yeah really nice uh size four so i looked up comps and they were actually really good um somebody uh, this did not originally come with a belt but somebody uh i guess added their own belt and then they tied it when they donated it which that was nice it does not match though so i'm not going to photograph it with the belt but i'm going to say like uh, this did not originally come with a belt, um, but I will throw in a belt for free, or, I, I don't know, honestly, I might even do that, I, I probably won't, I'll just probably, like, put the belt in the packaging when it, uh, when it sells, but I'll probably list that, like, 85, because a lot of them are listed at 100, and I would have my faster, all right, I was, uh, with my, my mom, like, got off of work, so she met me at the Goodwill, um, I want to say, I forgot to say, I did not have school this day, because for parent-teacher conferences, but my mom obviously had to work, so, I like went to Goodwill um, and then I was with my mom and she was going to check out with me. And then she's like, she saw, I guess that was unzipped behind the counter. It was unzipped like this. And she's like, oh, is that a Lululemon jacket? And I was like, oh yeah, it is. So Lululemon size 10. And this was behind the counter for $12.99, which I didn't think was terrible, but I didn't, I really did not want to pay twenty for $12.99, but it's a green jacket size 10. Um, it's a full zip. I don't find their jackets that often or uh, styles like this. This appears to be in excellent condition. The logo is very small. So the thing is, they... Okay, this store does mark up Lululemon when it has the rip tag. They used to not at all. And the uh, the the store that I got the birdies at, um, they mark up stuff if it's new with tags and has a price tag. But, like, literally, it could literally be new with tags. Or I found new with tags Lululemon there for $5. So... Or like this Lululemon like tag that is crisp. They would mark this. They would have marked this at four ninety nine. So yeah, and Patagonia is also marked up at this store. So and they're like five minutes down the road. So um, I usually go to the Birdie store more often than I go to the store. But I find good things at both. Um, but the Birdie store has a very soft spot in my heart because yeah. Anyways, um, 
I was like, okay, let me just go get it. But I left the tag on because I needed to, uh, because my Goodwills do allow returns. So I need to see if uh, this has any stains or anything. But I will say like the fleece on the inside is still very soft. It's not like matted or anything. Um, and it's like, this is the most recent tag where it just has a symbol and none. Nothing saying like Lululemon. So, um, and then here's the size dot, size 10, which is a great size. So, um, yeah. So I was like, okay, you know what? That's fine. And I had 10% off because I'm a student. But I was like, I w my mom went to go look at something. And I was at the, just like waiting by the counter. And that lady's, and this was behind the counter. And like, I'm not a work camera. She goes, like, she was like older, maybe like in her 50s or 60s. She's like, oh, you got the Lululemon jacket put out today. I was like, oh, yeah. And she goes, well, if it was up to me, I would have priced it higher. And I was like, oh, like... I think this is like the most I would have paid or something. I would have paid, okay, I lied. I would have paid up to $15 and that's it. It's like, well, that was the most I would have paid. She goes, yeah, probably. But um, she goes, how much did she price it at? She think I thought she she thinks, that, she thought that she priced it at $14.99, but it was actually $12.99. She goes, oh, $12.99, that's not that bad. I was like, eh. I was like, I was kind of shrugged my shoulders and I was like, eh. Because I'm not, I'm not, and I, I, I wanted to be like, the one time, like, they said the same thing to me before when I was paying up for something, and I was like, well, there was a lot of brands that I know that you guys, like, wouldn't, don't mark up, so, but I'm not about to tell them either, so, like, as long as my Eileen Fisher and Viore are safe, then I'm happy, so, um, Lululemon, when it started to become marked up, that was a tough thing to swallow for me, and we don't even have a Lululemon store within three hours of where I live, so I don't even know how they know it actually no i do know how they know it because this store had a brand researcher she's like a person that like researches brands and figure figures out expensive brands and then they'll mark them up so they know um they well every kate spade michael kors um and new tag banana republic or tablets are like always marked up and then sometimes uh i don't know just like other things like oh yeah manolo's were marked up which is like, whatever. Okay, anyways, I'll stop, quit the rambling, but I think my favorite piece in the haul were these birdies or these AYR jeans, because I just like, this is like, love the style. I just love the wash on these. So, um, yeah, so, or I guess I like the Patagonia jacket as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your, actually, wait, no, not thank you so much for watching, because I have another part right after this. But thank you for watching if like you made it this far and then if you make it all the way to the end. All right, time for a little bit of a bonus part. So I have a haul or I have things from like a few stores that I'll show you. But and then I have several things that sold from that I was going to show you, but I'm uh but I'm I don't have them to show you. But these are a pair of Birkenstock footprints by Birkenstock, like fisherman, sandal clogs, and really nice condition. Uh so I Pull these off of a new cart, and they were six dollars and eight cents. So, and I listed these at seventy five dollars. But for Birkenstocks, these are size forty one, and Birkenstock says that is their size eight. Well, I'm a size forty in Birkenstocks, and I'm like a men's eight and a half. So, a forty one, I don't think is an eight, but but I feel like most Birkenstock people know their size. But just say Birkenstock right there, and. Uh, Birkenstock has a few different, like, lines, like, uh, Papillo, and I think Batula, and, uh, I know just, there's other ones as well, um, but Footprint is also one of them, but the, uh, lines haven't really affected how they sell, they all sell well for me, um, so, yeah, okay. Then, so, it was weird, because I saw somebody on Instagram right before I found these, like, they posted about this brand, and I had never heard of it. So the brand is Mott and Bo. They posted on their story. And then I found them the next, like, I was waiting in the parking lot to go in and I just checked my Instagram real quick. And I saw their story and this brand was on it and I had never heard of it. So I'm happy I saw that or else they probably would have skipped it over. But these are women's size 29 and they are just a mid-rise skinny jean. But comps for good, I listed these at 45 and we'll see how these do. But I wanted to try out this brand. But they have a few likes so far, so... Okay, next, I almost left these, um, and they were right next to a pair of good American jeans marked at $20. Yeah, that video was crazy. Yeah, $20 for pre-owned good American jeans. I've never seen 
denim price that I had in my area, so, but these are a black, I'm not even going to get them, they will go to half off day, and I will not even get them for 10, because Good American just does not do that well for me anymore, but these are a skinny, dark wash jean, I've never found this brand before, but, um, they're Reformation jeans, size 28, and they're just a high-rise skinny jean, so, uh, I had not had the best of luck. I got Reformation jeans one time in a box swap from a good friend. And they were, those were a really good style, but they haven't sold yet. And they have them listed at $20. So, but since I had never found it, I ended up getting them. That's kind of one of my issues is even if I haven't found a brand, and even if it's not like the best thing within that brand, I still get it sometimes because I'm a little bit brand blind. And I just, yeah, but I got those. Those were only $6 right next to the... Um, Good American. Really never pick up this brand, but uh, I really liked this piece. So this is a J Gel for large, and it's a green quilted jacket or shirt jacket. So I did like the style of this. I really, um, I thought the color was nice. So I decided that I wanted to give this one a try. And with it being a size large, I listed this at $35 and the Reformation at $38. Alright. Uh, this, I've never found this brand before, and I almost left this one, but I didn't. It's a Yumi Kim size extra small silk mini tiered dress with an elastic smocked waist. So it has like floral details. I think this was half off as well, but I don't think I would have got it if it was not half off. But uh, I'll have to see how that does. This is a smart wool, size large, and it's a quilted dress. So this is like a cotton quilted detail with pockets. And then the panels and sleeves are a merino wool, which is what smart wool is known for is their merino wool. And then here is the logo right there. So I, yeah, um, size large is a good size. I remember, I think, I don't think I've sold a smart wool dress, but we'll have to see how that does. And, all right, now we're, oh, and then I, I'll do the things that sold. So the first thing that sold was a pair of Hoka shoes I also got from the same store as the Birkenstocks. Those were already on the shelf. I didn't get those off of a new cart. They were, like, brand new, like, probably never worn. They were men's. They had the Vibram soles, and I sold those on eBay for full price for $100. So that was really exciting. Um, it was my first time using the authentic Authenticity Guarantee Program, so I had to drop them off at FedEx, but uh, it wasn't that much of an issue so I dropped those off and I'm happy that they sold. The next was a pair of Pilcro and a letter press like these were like a cottage interesting pant. I did see like they had like a bit of fading like a fading area that I didn't see in store so I listed them lower and they sold for $24 uh, within a few days so I'm happy they still sold. The next thing was a pair of uh, pair of athletic girl leggings these were new with taxes which is why i got them i got them off of a new rack and they're only two dollars and 40 cents i listed them at 32 and i got an offer for 22 which i accepted i'm happy with a lower fast flip um if it's gonna flip fast uh, the next thing was a cool k-u-h-l new with tags like top i had it listed for 38 dollars and i got an offer for 32 that sold really fast so that was exciting and then I sold a Free People sweater. This was an oversized sweater and a size large. So I find that like, even though Free People is oversized, an extra small sweater could probably fit somebody that's a large. The larger sizes, even if it's oversized, still do better. So uh, I definitely will, like, I think I will take that into consideration in the future. Like, making sure that my Free People sizes are larger sizes because those still do better for me. And then the last thing was this, uh, from this last store I'm going to show you, was a Sundance Blazer. It had it listed for $45, and it sold in a day after I sent on an offer for $37 with discounted shipping. This was like a wool blend. I really like the style, and I would pick that up again. All right, so let me show you what I picked up that hasn't sold yet, and, but this is from, like, four days ago. So, all right, this is a Prana size small, and it is a dolman sleeve, uh, like, just base layer top. So, I thought it was an interesting style. I liked the color. Uh, Prana is like a brand people know. And I usually pass on it, but I think this was 30% um, merino wool. So, merino wool is a fabric that does do well for me. And like base layers, but. So, I got that. 
These are a pair of Citizens of Humanity jeans, and they are a cuffed straight leg jean. So this cuff style does do pretty well for me. I actually found a pair of Mother cuffed straight leg jeans, and those sell for $127. These I listed at $38, but, um, I mean, they're size 32, which is a great size. They're called the Danny uh, Cropped Straight Leg, and... Since they were size 32 and I had good looks with the cuffed style and I think these are a trendy pair, I decided to get them and a size 32 I feel like is going to help them sell, but we'll have to see how those do. I listed this product at 25 by the way, and then I listed like the Smart at 60 and then the JGL at 35 if I didn't already say. Alright, speaking of which, this is a Smart Wool size small and this is a like a Merino Wool zip up jacket. I'm always expecting these to have holes, and I don't really see a hole for this one, but it does have stains on it. But I wanted to go ahead and get it anyway, because people use these for base layers, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I haven't washed it yet, so I'm going to try washing it, but as you can, there's like a lot of staining on this one. Um, there's like, you can kind of see there, there's a big stain there, so. And there, I think there, there was a stain on the sleeve cuff, but I was still fine. Yeah, there's some staining on the cuff. So I was still fun getting that. It's not a huge deal, but I can probably still get, you know, $30 for that. And I think it'll sell quick now that it's the time of year. All right. I got this sweater. It's like a merino wool, like kind of a mock neck tunic sweater with a nice knit with a ribbed uh, sleeve. And this is from the brand uh, Tori Birch, which I don't always grab her clothing, but her shoes do better for me. To, this is a size small, but it appeared to be in really nice condition. It was a nice, like, modern style, and it was 100% merino wool. So, for those reasons, I decided to get it, because I like the style and uh, the fabric content. And, I mean, the brand, people know the brand, so that... I guess helps but her shoes and bags do the best for me the clothing not so much so i will pass on the clothing sometimes but i um will if it's a nice clothing piece i will grab it all right these are a pair of eileen fisher size medium green wide leg with a slight kind of taper kind of like a lantern style uh size medium 100 percent organic linen pull on elastic waist pocket pants so i use keywords like lag and look uh linen wide leg so and then i listed the toy bridge at 50 if you didn't say i listed the eileen pants at 45 and my last item in this haul is a brand called quince it this is a pink cashmere sweater so cashmere i mainly got it if it was cotton i would have left it behind but this brand isn't that expensive but for the this uh sweater i think retail for 80 dollars but for 80 dollars the every time i see the piece um that's brand it, it's not that expensive but uh the prices like always are really reasonable for the quality of the items like i feel like this is a nice quality piece it's a size large and it's 100 percent cashmere so i listed this at 45 and it has a few likes so far but i the reason i got it so i did check comps on that one and there was one available when i got it and um they had a listed at 40 and it had like 17 likes or something and one offer so i knew people were actively searching out the item when i got home and went to go list it i checked the comps again and it had sold when because I, I wanted to try to like list it at 38 to try to beat the person and hopefully like one of them would have bought my listing for full price or something but it's crazy since i'm the only one that has a pre-owned of this sweater i listed mine at 45 and i feel like it's still sell around 35 so yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm trying to, like, get more, like, quality pieces, but I don't know. I probably could have, like, left the Reformation jeans behind and maybe the Yumi Kim dress, but everything else I feel like will sell fast, and um, I'm happy with my pickups. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favorite thing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.